and today I'm going to show you how to build a reloading table. Here's what you're going to need. We're going to begin by building the frame of the table. For this project, we're going to use one by red oak material and one inch red oak material for the top. For the frame, we will need four three by three by three legs and four two by four by eights. We will cut the two by four by eights to the following measurements. Three boards at 56 inches, four boards at 28 and a half inches, and one board at 54 and a half inches. Next, we are gonna put some leveling lads on the bottom of our legs. The easiest way to find the center is to draw a line from corner to corner on the bottom of the leg, and where they intersect will be the center mark. For this brand we are using, we will drill a 3 8 inch hole. Make sure to check the directions on the brand you will be using. Now we are going to lay out the apron and using a quarter inch pocket screws, attach it together. The boards running side by side should be 56 inches long and the boards running front to back should be 28 and a half inches. Once you have the apron built, we are going to attach the legs. For these, we are going to clamp them into the corner, then drill two 5 16 inch holes from the front to the back and one from side to side. As we go, we will add and tighten down our 5 16 inch bolts with washers and nuts. Next, we are going to use one and a quarter inch pocket screws and attach your two 18 inch boards to your 56 inch board. Now mark six inches from the bottom of each leg and line up the piece you just put together with those marks. Just like the legs, drill some holes and attach the bolts. Once you have that attached, you will attach your last board, the 56 and a half inch piece, to the inside of the front legs, again using bolts. All right, now that we've got our frame finished, we're gonna work on the bottom shelf. First, we're gonna take a four foot by two and a half inch wide board and attach it to the inside bottom of the boards. Once you have them screwed in, we're gonna cut six one by eight boards to 25 and a quarter long and then glue them down to the boards we just attached. There will be some space in between the boards depending on the exact width of the boards and width of your base. The last thing we need to do is sand it all down. We will not be staining the red oak, so we want all the visible imperfections to be sanded out. Also, with hardwoods, the edges can be very sharp. Make sure you sand them down all the way to a nice smooth edge. Now we're going to glue together our tabletop. We have one inch boards we are using that when combined will give us 56 inches long by 31 inches deep top. We are going to be using a biscuit joiner and glue to attach the boards to each other. When marking lines with your biscuit joiner, make sure you always put an arrow pointing to the top of your table, or in this case, the front of the wall. This way you always have the right way facing up when you're doing cutting for the biscuits. Now we're going to start building the shelves that sit on top of the table. We are going to start by cutting three 2 by 8 by 6 boards down to 56 inches. Once cut, we are going to use a biscuit joiner and glue to create the back wall. Once you have it cut, go ahead and glue it and clamp it. Now we're going to grab some of our scrap pieces from other cuts and cut seven 2x8s to 5 inches long. 
These are going to be the dividers on the lower shelf. Once you have them cut, we will need three more 2x8x6s to 56 inches long and eight 3x3 three three leg pieces at 5 inches long. Now we will nail in all the dividers and two sets of legs from the bottom of one of the 56 inches 2x8s. Now we will attach just the leg pieces from the bottom of another one of the 56 inch boards. Once you have these two pieces built, we are going to glue the second piece we built to the first piece with the dividers. Then we are going to glue the remaining 56 inch board to the top of the pieces with only the legs. While we are waiting for the glue to dry, we are going to go ahead and sand the backboard. Once you have the backboard sanded, we are going to sand, stain, and poly the tabletop. We are using English chestnut stain and semi-gloss poly for this table. Once we finish staining the top, we are going to oil the rest of the pieces with tongue oil. Now it's time to assemble the frame, the backboard, the tabletop, and shelves. To begin with, we are going to remove the bolts that are holding up the top back frame board and clamp our backboard flush to the bottom of that board. Now we are going to drill through the same holes that are there from inside the leg towards the back. Now we can bolt the backboard onto the table frame. Next we are going to glue down the tabletop. On the two back corners, we will use screws to attach the top to the frame, since they will be covered by the shelf. Last, we're going to attach the shelf. We will put it flat on the table, flush against the backboard, and screw it in from the back of the backboard. Now you can get it all set up and get to reloading. What would you like for us to build next? Let us know in the comments below, then make sure you check out Rated Red's YouTube channel and hit subscribe. From the workshop, I'm Amanda Mertz.